This is how Elemental Coffee Roasters brews coffee through a vacuum pot. Uh, my name is Paul, I'm with Elemental Coffee, and today we're gonna be going over how to use a vacuum pot or a siphon method to brew coffee. We need um, a scale, we need a burner, usually it comes with a siphon rig, which is a bottom beaker, a stand with a clamp on it, and a top beaker, as well as about 30 grams of coffee. We're gonna grind that somewhere in between table salt and sea salt. It's kind of like a medium grind on most home grinders. And then some source for hot water. So the first thing that we wanna do is our siphon rig comes with this filter. We wanna secure that with the little spring so that it's tight and doesn't come out. We're gonna add 400 grams of hot water, uh, hot being 200 degrees, so just under boiling um, to our bottom beaker. So once we've got 400 grams, we're gonna take the little butane burner, and we're gonna turn the gas on a little bit, and then spark it on. Turn it up pretty high, and just place it right under that bottom beaker. Right after we do that, add our top beaker, but we don't want it to sit so that it seals. We want it to be loose. And at this point, we're just gonna wait for this bottom beaker, the water in there, to start boiling again. Um, while you're waiting for that to boil, you can go ahead and grind your 30 grams of coffee. So as this bottom beaker is now boiling, we can actually set the top beaker so that it seals. And it's actually gonna draw uh, the water from the bottom beaker into the top beaker. We can turn the burner down a little bit because we don't want the top to be boiling or agitated. We want the coffee to kind of have a good environment to be immersed and like saturate evenly. As we kind of find a good place, there. Um, I'm going to add the coffee and start the timer. And as I add the coffee, I'm actually going to stir it in to make sure that it's evenly distributed. I'm going to stir it 10 times. And then we're just going to wait for a minute and 45 seconds for this to brew. So you're adjusting the heat. You don't want the top to be agitated or to be boiling, um, like kind of really tumultuous on top. But you also want um, the heat in the bottom beaker to be hot enough that the pressures will keep the coffee from coming back down into the bottom beaker. So this is right about where you want it. And I've got the heat really, really low. At uh, one minute and 45 seconds, I'm going to simultaneously cut the heat and stir the top beaker another five times. And as you can see, the difference in pressure is causing the coffee to be filtered back down to the bottom beaker. And this process is called the drawdown. It should take about one minute. And at the end of that minute, what we should have is a kind of dome in the center of the bottom of the top beaker that is the grounds of coffee that we had. And that's a sign that our coffee was kind of evenly distributed and evenly brewed as the drawdown occurred. After two minutes and 45 seconds on your timer, we can actually remove the top beaker and we are ready to serve some coffee. That's a cheesy line, I shouldn't say that.